What's going on? It's Kate Kozich here, and Apple just announced a lineup of new devices across iPhone, iPad, Mac, and more. There's a new version of the M1 chip, a high-end display, plus a surprise for the iPhone 13. Let's take a closer look at the five biggest announcements from the Apple event. Meet the iPhone SE. It features the same A15 Bionic processor that the iPhone 13 has, which means better performance, faster image processing, and a bunch of machine learning capabilities. Plus, the new iPhone SE has 5G connectivity and better battery life. It sports the same design as the previous gen iPhone SE, keeping with the big bezels and that physical home button. So yes, it still has Touch ID. And Apple really emphasized that while it still kind of looks like the iPhone 8, it's far beyond it in terms of power. Plus, shipping with iOS 15, it should look to rival the iPhone 13 experience. The new iPhone SE comes in three colors, Midnight, Starlight, and Product Red, and it starts at $429 with 64, 128, and 256 gigabyte options. Now, who doesn't love a new iPad? The latest iPad Air will run on the M1 chip, and yeah, you heard that right. As a result, the new tablet should be 60% faster than the iPad Air 4, which had the A14 CPU. We can expect twice the graphical performance that will make it faster than even some Windows laptops in the same price range. The iPad Air 5 will also have 5G connectivity, faster USB-C charging, and a 12 megapixel ultra-wide front-facing camera that supports center stage. It will also run on iPad OS 15, which will give it enhanced multitasking capabilities. The new iPad Air starts at $599. Moving on to Mac. The Mac Studio is the latest addition to Apple's desktop Mac lineup. Powered by either an M1 Max or the new M1 Ultra chipset, Mac Studio targets users looking for better performance than the iMac can deliver and a design that's more compact than the Mac Pro. Apple said that the CPU and GPU on this new desktop are both significantly faster than the most powerful 27-inch iMac powered by Apple Silicon. Mac Studio can also apparently outperform some Mac Pro configurations. That performance comes at a price. The Mac Studio with an M1 Max chipset starts at $1,999, while the M1 Ultra powered Mac Studio starts at $3,999. Joining the Mac Studio in Apple's premium computing tier is the new Apple Studio display. It's a 27-inch 5K display with an A13 Bionic chip inside. There's a highly advanced 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera that's borrowed from the iPad with center stage support. And there's a 3-mic array for studio-quality audio. Plus, you get a high-fidelity six-speaker sound system with two high-performance tweeters. And then there's spatial audio support. Apple calls this the best combination of audio and video in a display. There's three USB-C ports on the back, plus a Thunderbolt port for plugging in an iMac Mac with up to 96 watts of power. You can even connect up to three displays at once to your MacBook Pro, but these displays also have a high price tag. The display starts at $1,599 and can be configured with different mounts. Lastly, and probably the least importantly, but it's still a fun announcement, Apple did launch new colors of the iPhone 13. Both the iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 Pro models are getting a bold new green color complete with colored match edges. The iPhone 13 Pro's hue is called Alpine Green and it's more subtle and matte, while the standard iPhone 13's green is much more vibrant. Get that clear case ready. All right, so what announcement are you most excited about? Any devices you'll be pre-ordering? Be sure to let us know and stay tuned to Tom's Guide for reviews of all the upcoming products. Thanks for watching.